Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of the Beast Box number 27, Toxic Horn from 52 Toys. Now, for those who have been on my channel, you might have seen these reviews time to time. Yes, uh, I am actually collecting these now. Um, I have a good amount, but I haven't reviewed all everything yet, because some of them I, st I did get and receive and tried them out, and I'm still trying to memorize or trying to master the transformation, because some of them are kind of complicated than I expected. But anyway, uh, let's see what we got for the review. For those who don't know, these are basically called Beast Box, or some of them are called uh, Mega Box, depending on uh, the 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 product line. And these are made from a Chinese toy company called Fifty Two Toys. And their base, their main concept is that they would make mechs or animal type mechs that could uh, that could fold up into these type of cubes, which is like a five centimeter um, a perfect cube going on here. And you can put them in these box chargers. And these box chargers itself can connect from side to side or up and down, so you can stack them up. Anyway, so let's see what we got. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the Beast Box Toxic Horn itself. Uh, for those who don't know, this one actually transforms into a bull. Uh, of course, despite being a bull, this one's actually, uh, you know, green. Instead of the typical color, what we would think of a bull would be like black, brown, or sometimes red in some other mecha or orange. But no, this is like actually green. Uh, so other than the Beast Box itself, we get the box charger as usual, we get the typical catalog, of course this time the catalog has been updated as well, so that's good. And then here we have some other stuff, so number one, we get the PVC card, now these PVC cards, what they're used for is that, now a lot of people are now starting to mention to 52 Toys that they think that this is not too necessary, but basically what these are meant for is that you bend these in half and then you put it inside in the back of the back box charger, so, so when you're actually having trouble, this is meant, only meant for, for those who are having trouble uh, bringing it out. So without the PVC card, it would be like this when you open the box. But let's say if you had the PVC card on the back, now this card would be now pushing out the Beast Box itself, so you could have an easier time, uh, you know, pulling it out. But once again, uh, I can I, I can kind of see the main purpose of this, but some people I don't think many people use this as much as they as they thought they would. So just wanted to mention that out. And then, let's see what we got. And then here we have this card. Now, depending on which Beast Box you get, there are some Beast Box that don't have these cards, and, for, and there are some that does. I'm not sure what exactly the uh, criteria is, but once again, I actually do like these cards, and I'm actually collecting them and putting them in a, uh, in a card binder. So here we have the Toxicorn BB-27. Uh, definitely, despite the name, I would expect... Uh, some, you know, like poison or ooze, like oozing out from the horn, but we're actually getting some sort of spark effect on the horns as well. And on the back, we have some stats. Uh, apparently, this one has low intelligence, uh, a good amount of speed, a, a decent amount, definitely a lot of defense, strength, and courage. So I guess that's a, you know, a, a pretty well-balanced uh, character or mech, I guess. Now, once again, we have these barcodes, which I don't know what their purpose is, and we have a small... We have the Chinese version and the English version of the explanation. Now, this one doesn't really explain too much on the background of this uh, character or mech. It just mentions at the end is that Toxic Horn leads the Horde to live reclusively and never and never be found. So, yeah. Uh, kind of a, a lot of character with mis a lot of mystery. So, yeah. Uh, and obviously, you, you obviously get the instruction manual. So, the instruction manual uh, shows you two ways. The, from beast mode to box mode and then box mode to beast mode. So that's actually a really good thing because not many uh, toys, especially in the Transformers lines, don't really do that if I remember correctly. So usually you would just transform it and then do the reverse process. Alright, let's get this out and let's see what we got. So let's open the beast uh, box charger and reveal it. So I'm going to be honest, this is my second one buying these because I would like to mention if you are buying this, be careful with the horns. Now, it's kind of ironic for the horns to be the most fragile part. Now, I wouldn't say they break easily. It's just that there's a lot of tension here. So, uh, I'll, so yeah, I'll get into that later when we get into the horn. But as you can see, the, uh, luckily because it was a broken one, I was able to like disassemble this and work, see how the the product was made. And apparently, some parts uh, you would think that like these green parts, some of them would be just uh, just pure plastic and the same color. But no, if you actually sand a few parts of it in some areas, I believe uh, one example was the head, where if you actually sand some areas of the head, then it would also reveal that they would be the same uh, clear green plastic. So yeah. So, uh, I'm going to say this one transformation is fairly simple enough. It's really straightforward. So, uh, of course, I'm not going to show you guys the process because that would eat up a lot of time. But basically, um, as a start, this is what you do. So, number one, I would suggest that you flip up these parts. 
which are part of the legs and this part as well but of course before doing that you have to like kind of uh let me just do this on the safe side let me just move the horns a little bit to the top and then you should be able to move some areas like this and you pop them out and then you move these parts down and then it's from here you just pretty much do like you open up you flip it and then you pretty much clean up all the parts so once again i'll be right back with the fully transformed version Okay, I'm back. So here is Toxic Horn in its beast mode, or I guess bull mode. Uh, so once again, uh, if it weren't for the broken horn that I previously had, of course, I would kind of blame the the company that sent it to me. But still, um, this would have been my most favorite beast box out there if it weren't for the horns, basically. So let's see what we got. So in terms of articulation, we'll start from the head and then go to the back. So just as a start. So the head. So number one, the head is on a ball joint, so you can move it, you can go 360 on the head, once again, uh, I don't think a real bull or cow could do that, but you can move the head up and down like that. Uh, now there is a mouth, but once again, uh, it's really limited, it can only open slightly more, so once again, when I actually test it with my broken one, you can kind of, you can uh, disassemble the head and then you can sand off the back of the mouth a little bit more so, to open, to open the mouth a little bit more, but once again, it's not too much but still it's you could make you could do better than this so that's that and once again i think 52 toys you should focus on these kind of small details because especially i was really uh disappointed with the torado uh, mouse because it, it barely opened now the horns now the horns are what i was talking about so number one the horns can move up and down like this you can they are able to rotate 360 but once again at, well not exactly 360 but they are able to rotate around uh forward and backward like that so you can see there's a lot of tension going on here now luckily this isn't exactly the part that i broke the part that i actually broke was the green part of the horns so once again when you're transforming this kit um you have to actually fold the horns or move the horns like like to the front like this and as you just saw i had to put a good amount of strings like that so and when i first got this i was looking at the horns and i actually straightened them up like what what this is supposed to look like basically let me just be careful once again so i i was able to move about this much and when you look at it from the back right over here oh boy let me when you look at the back there is a slight gap here there is like a slight gap here to the point where you would think or most people which means there's still a little bit more that i have to push it in and while doing that the horn snapped on me so i'm not even going to take a second chance even both sides are like that so once again i feel like they put a lot a lot of uh a bit too much tension here it's the joint is just way too tight and this one is one of those parts where you need like a small pin and and push out this pin so you can sand it down so yeah if you're going to use this or transform this multiple times i would suggest you pull the pin out sand out some parts and then reassemble it because the horns are just too tight and i am not gonna risk breaking a second one so that's that uh but once again i over Overall, I really like the bull design here, especially the concept where it's called Toxic Horn. So I, I, would, I was assuming that the horns were supposed to be like poisonous and, and such. And for those who are not a big fan of the, this type of horn, uh, 52 Toys, uh, they did upload an image on a second variant of this. Now, it, I'm not sure if the color is going to be the same, but they're making a second Toxic Horn variant. I'm not sure. It's going to be a, obviously a different name, but the horn uh, shape is different. The overall, some parts of the details are going to be different. So yeah, maybe you could look forward into that. So we're done with the head pretty much and then the main body now the main body itself. There's no like ab crunch and There's no uh, moving parts. But of course when you first saw me transform this uh, I was able to rotate the back section about 180 degree But once again uh, when you're transforming this there's a lot of parts that secures that joint where once again it, There's these two parts that collapse here and then this top part that collapse here that locks into place So you won't be able to rotate the main the middle body after you transformed it now for the front legs yeah so number one they're all all legs are connected in a ball joint uh, position so uh and then there's this extra joint on the front where you can move up and down like this there's there's you can see that white joint inside there that can, you can move it up and down as well so you can change your position a good amount and since it's on a ball joint the the i'm not sure if these are considered shoulders but you can move it forward and backward as well and then up and down as well now i want for if you if you can rotate or if you can uh, avoid the horns like this you are almost able to go 360 uh, of course you're gonna have to uh, avoid some parts as well 
and then the legs can they can't uh, bend uh, forwards at this point this is as far as you go because uh, when you transform it this is how it's supposed to look like and then yeah so I, I guess to make it less messy they stop um, moving it from there and then we have a ball jointed feet or hoops or whatever they call it so that that's that so like you can definitely balancing this uh, figure or toy is definitely much easier thanks to those extra ball joints as, as the feet because um, because you get a really nice pivot despite the spread on the front uh, legs now for the back legs now the back legs they can move uh, they're a little bit different because of how, the way how the transformation works so the white part there the ball joint can now move forward and backward like that they can move forward and backward but still despite that you have a nice forward and backward movement going on here and then up and down as well now once again same as the front part you can't bend them forwards because when you when in, in beast box Q mode it's like this and then you move it like this so there's no more bending to the front but once again thanks to those ball jointed feet or hoops uh, you have you should have pretty much less problems on doing multiple poses or you're do or doing the typical ball type poses and then the and then the tail the tail is also on a ball joint so you can rotate it around and the end tip can also slightly fold but this is mostly due to the transformation and if there's any details I forgot to mention would be I guess the back here so here we have the symbol uh, the beast box has these multiple symbols and that kind of represents like what type they are and then we have this hole which I don't know there's no purpose um, it's not actually used on this uh, figure of course there are sometimes they actually give you like extra bonus packs with weapons or, or, or animal shaped weapons or insect uh, shape weapon so I, I'm assuming if you have extra option parts or if you want to modify it you can always add, attach an extra weapon on here as well and that's pretty much it for the review so once again uh, <clears throat> this this could have been my most favorite beast box out there but once again because of how the horns are just too stiff uh, and then they can be broken pretty easily so I'm gonna be a little bit careful but still uh, I really enjoyed this uh, figure I really liked it too, and I'm really glad I have this in my collection um, of course there's another one that is a big candidate as well so I'm going to review that right away as well so anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the review of the 52 Toys Beast Box Toxic Corner. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.